Hello my dear family members, today we will discuss an important coding question which was asked in Infosys assessment on 6th July and that can be repeated and that type of problem can be asked again right. So let's discuss that one of the 15 coding question which was asked in yesterday okay. So let's see the question, the question is regarding possible string okay. So you are given a string S, you can perform the following two operations on S any number of times possibly zero. So remove the first character from S remove the last character from s okay so you can perform this task and also you cannot perform okay so possibly zero so find the total number of distinct non-empty strings that can be generated okay so input format is this the first uh so this is not properly visible so first line contains a string s uh, containing the given string okay so denoting the given strings so so let's see the sample input output but before I proceed I would recommend you to have the prime materials of Infosys in which I have included all the recent coding questions with answer. So if you want that then let me know in the comment section or you can DM me at my ID instagram.com slash techno.ef okay. So let's see the sample input output. So the first input is this a a a a a so output is 5 how because you can generate total 5 such substring which are distinct and non-empty okay so that's why the answer is 5 as you can see a a a a a a a a a a and 5a right so this way you can generate total 5 such substring in which all the substrings are unique i mean distinct okay so that's why your output is the size of the total substring okay so the second sample input output is this so if the sample input is z only then output is one because you can generate only one substring from this which is unique or distinct and also non-empty so that's why the output is one and the case three is this a b a b a output is nine how i'm explaining so a b a b a right so a b a b a so you can generate total how many number of substring that is n into n plus n so n is the size of the substring okay so here five is the size okay so total substring possible is 5 into 5 plus 1 by 2. So 5 into 6 that is 30 by 2 that is 15. Okay. So let's generate the substrings. So A, A, B, A, B, A, then A, B, A, B, then A, B, A, B, A, then B, B, A, then B, A, B, then B, A, B, A, then A again, A, B, a b a and b a sorry b again and b a right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay and again a a okay so in this way total 15 substring are possible right but what are the unique and non empty i mean distinct so a is repeated so let me remove this and ba is also repeated in here b present so ba is repeated and b also present here so let me remove b and aba is also present here so let me remove the aba and ab is present here so let me remove ab here and a is also present so let me remove a so i think all the substrings are now unique and non empty okay so let me count the total number of substrings such that uh, where all the substrings are non-empty and unique i mean distinct so one two three four five six seven eight nine so in this way your output should be nine as well okay so the output is nine so i hope you understood right so what's the task is and what you should do okay so if you understood then please start solving the problem if you can't then wait don't skip any moment so i'll solve you i'll solve the coding question in java and python both so wait for the python solution i will solve the problem with java right now okay so actually i have written the solution so let me show you so let's discuss with the main function at first so at, at first i am calling the function and which is taking only one uh, argument that is the string okay so let me go to the implementation of the function that is a static function so that we can we, we can call that function without creating the object of the class okay and this is returning an integer number that is the size of the string okay 
size of the set okay and this is the name of the function and it is taking one argument that is string s okay and we have to create a set so that we can all we can just take we can just generate the unique characters right as set only take unique uh unique things right so that's why we have to create a set uh object right so that's why we are creating a set so set of strings substring is equal to new has set so has set uh, so set interface is being implemented by has set class okay so now we are getting the length of the uh string that is n is equal to s dot length okay then we are going through all the element of the string from zeroth element to the uh, last element i mean the length minus one element right and then in the inner loop we are going through start plus one element right so that means from this element we are starting from this loop okay and we are going up to end less than equal to end that means up to a okay then what we are doing we are using a method of set interface that is add okay so this method enable you to add something inside the add some string inside the set so that will be unique also and in this we are generating the substring so s dot substring a start from end right so start is equal to the zeroth element and end is equal to the start plus one so a b okay so i hope you understood so in this way we are just generating all the possible substrings but it will only include uh, the unique substring because we are having set okay and after all the for loop we are just returning the substring dot size okay that means the set size and we will get our desired output okay so i hope you understood and here we are just calling the function and printing that okay so let's run it and see if this is right or not okay so for this string the output should be 5 and this the output should be 1 and for this output should be 9 okay as you can see as expected right so 5 1 9 five one nine so let's go to the python solution if you have not understood yet then please let me know in the comment section and you can also damn me at mr id instagram.com slash techno.tf to discuss more and you can join our telegram channel also t.me slash ubk now okay and uh one thing i forgot to say that is i have imported has set and set so that we can implement has set and set okay java.util has set java.util set okay so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the python solution so again i am requesting if you underst didn't understand then please let me know in the comment section okay i'll try to assist you so let's go to the python solution so the same logic uh, are implemented here so at first we are calling the function and this is having only one argument that is a string and we are just printing the same okay and let's go to the implementation of the function that is count distinct substrings this this is the name of the function and s is the argument this is a string and substring is equal to set so we are creating a set to store only unique substrings okay and n is the length of the string okay so for i in range n so 0 to nth element and for j in range here also start plus one from two n plus one okay so that means less than equal to n right so i hope you understood then we are adding substrings dot add inside the set we are adding using slicing method s i is to j so from let's say so a b a b a right so i means zero so it will start from here and j means at first i plus one so that means a b so it will store i to i plus j that means a b it will store that okay so this way it will store and when the j will be increased when i will be increased this will gen keep generating the substrings and only the unique substrings will be added to the set okay so i hope you understood and after all the for loop we are just printing the length of the strings okay substrings okay so i hope you understood let's run it again see if this is right or not as expected right so five one nine 
so i hope you understood the logic i used here so if you understood then please let me know in the comment section and subscribe this and please watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please suggest me which company content do you want more and if you want more such content then please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help and if you want the prime materials where i included all the recent coding questions with answer then please let me know in the comment section or you can also tell me at my study instagram.com slash okay so thank you for today's session